weeks, pretty pretty intense. You know, just started off with two-hour registration line at the Dew Tour. You know, just seeing everyone in the line, and uh, it was pretty cool to see see all the athletes coming in, get to talk to about the course, about what they're going to do. So it started off real good, and uh, then pretty much I didn't have to ski till Sunday, so I had a whole week of training. So I was just on the course pretty much every single day, just. Uh, trying to get my run down, trying to keep it mellow throughout the day because I was a little sore, but I just trying to make sure I was healthy for that last last day on Sundays. It was, pipe was pretty good, you know, I did qualifying and feeling pretty good. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna lay it on a mellow run and then hopefully uh, get into the prelims, but that was not the case. All the kid, like younger kids were just throwing down, like it was unreal and I was like, oh man, I'm way out of my league here skiing one day of pipe this year. So I just kind of went in for a joke and just kind of just did a few tricks and you know, crashed both runs, but I was stoked just to feel that, you know, just feel myself getting way more comfortable within that two hours of practice. So if I apply to myself maybe a month, I feel like I can definitely progress myself as a pipe skier. Pipe is it's just a whole different game. It's like all transition about how you ride the pipe and slope style is kind of wild where you're just going out and just kind of going for it, you know, pipe's all calculated, you know your run all the time, and slope style, you go to a different course and there's a whole new setup, whole new rail feature, whole new jump, jump sizes, it all varies, so it's definitely more of a guessing game, going from contest to contest, as pipe, you kind of know what your run's gonna be from the start. This is 19-year-old Bobby Brown from right here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Woke up super nervous, looked outside, and it was a little snowy, but uh, I was stoked because, you know, I can usually clear the jumps. I'm a lot bigger than most of the guys, so. Here's a guy who draws a lot of inspiration from our friend and colleague, Johnny Mosley, and what he threw down at the O2 Salt Lake Olympics. And Bobby Brown came in as a relative amateur and won this event two years ago in similar conditions. Uh, I think that weather plays an advantage to me sometimes, so I was pretty pumped on that. Didn't really affect my mindset, but um, when the weather's not that great, you know, you just gotta keep keep sound. You know, you just gotta be calm and not really worry about it because everyone's going through the same conditions as you. So you just gotta, you know, do what you can, be mellow, stomp your run, grab your tricks, just be really clean and make it to the bottom is definitely the key thing. A lot of people get caught up in just doing the most technical tricks and not clearing the jumps. And nice big court right side 720, slowing things down a little bit. And now into the final jump. Here's the double court 1080 for Brown and no question on that landing, Todd. Yeah, I was super stoked on my finish. Uh, second place is a good way to start up the season, so definitely um, getting, looking forward to the next two stops.